and good evening. Today we want to look at alternative to practical chemistry. This is mainly for GC students and we are going to look at the qualitative analysis. And qualitative analysis is analysis on salts. Let me show you. This is how the table will be given to you. You have test, observation, inference. In this test, observation, inference, in this test, observation, inference, you'll be given here. You'll be given here. They said salt plus water. Then your observation is what happens when the salt, when water is added to the salt. Now, it depends on whether the salt is soluble or insoluble. Now, if you may have a colorless, a colorless uh, filtrate and residue, because this thing is going to they, when when the, the, the salt and water are mixed, they, and they will, it will be filtered. So you are going to have a colorless filtrate and residue. For your information, the filtrate is the liquid component that is filtered. Like here, you have the filtrate. On the funnel, you have here with the filter paper, you have here residue, residue. Now this one is the filtrate. Now this is what you, if you have something like this, it means filtrate and residue. It means that the salt is a is a mixture of what? It's a mixture of what? Soluble, soluble, and insoluble, insoluble salts. The soluble salt is the filtrate. The insoluble salt is the residue. Now in our next, I want to just have it like this because there is need for us to learn the soluble and insoluble salts. With the knowledge of soluble and insoluble salts and precipitating reagents, you'll be able to know what to write and how to fill the table. But this is how it is going to be given to you in the examination. They will give you just dash here, space here. You are, to do, you are the one that will have to enter the information here. So with the knowledge you have about soluble and insoluble salts, it will guide you in the next part of the question on this qualitative analysis. So what I'm going to do now is to give you some soluble and insoluble source. There is a lot of things, or there are too many things you need to learn about this. But let me give you a number of soluble and insoluble source. Let me put them here. Now, the soluble source we have, soluble source and insoluble source. Very quickly, the soluble source are all sorts that contain, any sort that contains triazonitrate 5. Nitrate 5, that is NO3. Any NO3 salt, NO3 salt is always soluble. None of them is insoluble. Which means, if I have a substance like this, lead 2 triazonitrate 5, it is a soluble salt. If I have a substance like this, calcium triazonitrate 5, it is a soluble salt. As I, if I have potassium triazonitrate 5, it is a soluble salt. So any salt that has NO3, NO3 is a soluble salt. Now we can continue. Another soluble salt we have is any salt that contains sodium, potassium, or ammonium. If you see sodium, potassium, ammonium combined with any radical, it means that salt is soluble. This is what it means. All sorts of sodium, potassium, and ammonium are what? Soluble. None of them is insoluble. Just take note of this. So that if you have, even most of the time, triazocarbonate four salts are insoluble. But if you can have Sodium triazocarbonate for this is a soluble salt. CO3 salts are mainly insoluble, except they have sodium, potassium, or ammonium. Now, please, I want us to just hold it like this for now because I will create time for us to learn very well about all soluble and insoluble salts. After learning that one, then we'll come into this table. I will also give you some uh, precipitating reagents. That's okay. Let me give you some of the precipitating reagents. Some of the precipitating reagents we have are barium chloride. This, if you see this substance, it means there is something that you are going to use it for. 
for your inference. If you see lead like 2025, it is pointing at something. If you see sodium hydroxide, it is pointing at something. These are the major precipitating reagents that they always give students during the exams. And in the course of this, we're also going to look at some acids that they give students most of the time. Hydrochloric acid, tetraoxosulfasis acid, and triazonitrate 5 acid. We're going to also look at all these. If we can learn these things, soluble and insoluble salts, precipitating reagents, and other uh, oxidizing and reducing agents, then you'll be very good at whatever we talk about uh, qualitative analysis. Thank you very much. And please remember to subscribe and share this so that in the subsequent class, we'll get better with this. Thank you, everyone.